Well, now that we're in the winter time, we're going to hear a lot more about atmospheric rivers. What are atmospheric rivers, though? Well, not every storm that comes in is an atmospheric river. Sometimes that high pressure sits off to the west. It's a bit of a blocking high pressure. And so when low pressures drop in, the things that generate weather here in California, well, there's not a lot of moisture associated with it. Think of an inside slider type of storm. But in the perfect setup, it'll push in a band of moisture thousands of miles long, hundreds of miles wide, up from the tropics. And these low pressure systems can tap into that moisture and bring us a bunch of rain and some snow to the high elevations. Now, not necessarily a ton of snow all the time because these are pretty warm storms. But here's a fun fact. If it originates from near Hawaii, it can be called a Pineapple Express. So every Pineapple Express is an atmospheric river, but not every atmospheric river is a Pineapple Express. Now, atmospheric rivers carry seven and a half to 15 times the flow of the Mississippi River. That's a lot of water, and that water is responsible for the majority of the West Coast rain and snowfall in the wintertime.